We're over in the east side of London today in one of the most trendiest neighborhoods in the UK, Shoreditch. Our plan for the day is to find some street art, maybe check out a couple of markets, and we've heard there's a bagel place that's supposed to be really good, so we're gonna try to find that. So one of the things that we heard that you have to do if you're in shortage is go check out Bagel Bake. But we heard there are very big lines, but we also heard it's worth the wait. got our bagels that only took like five minutes we went there at what time were we there about noon so noon so if you're here go there then now we're trying to find a place to sit down and eat these and we just stumbled across this like graffiti tunnel an interesting neighborhood So if you're watching this, you're probably realizing there is so much graffiti here, it's actually hard to go a block without running into some. There are some famous people that have graffiti here as well, Banksy among many others, but you know what? All of it is spectacular. So we found this park, but it seems like all the benches are taken, so we might just have to sit on the ground. All right, scratch that. We did find a bench. We're uh, diving into this now. What does Anna got here? I just got the basic bagel and cream cheese. I got something much more interesting. I have this bagel called the salt beef, and apparently it's what it's known for. Uh, on this little guy is some really thick pieces of meat, for starters. There's pickles, and I think some mustard. Whoa. That is intense. Right away, it kind of reminds me of a Reuben. If you had a Reuben sandwich before, much less ingredients. Bread is really soft and delicious. Pickles are just, mm. the meat, I thought it would be saltier, hence the name, but it's not. It's very tender, falls apart in your mouth. I'm going to love this. Okay, my turn. Best bagel you ever had? No. Montreal bagels. Definitely still win. <laughs> Montreal still wins. Guys, if you want to watch our uh, video on Montreal when we had those delicious bagels, just uh, click up here. Like a big Williamsburg in Brooklyn vibe meets like Mile End in Montreal. Totally. Just uh, throw in the Brits and you have shortage. A really good sign of a great neighborhood is when you kind of plan for the day, but then you come across cool little alleyways and food truck parks like that. We just gotta keep going now. mid-afternoon we've been walking around for a couple of hours so I think it's time for a beer oh yeah not just any beer some craft beer so BrewDog is actually a really big chain now it's actually expanding a lot we've been to a few of them but it started in Scotland one of the reasons we love this place is because it's craft beer in the UK back home in pretty much North America this is everywhere here it's a little harder to find so when we do come to London we always seek out BrewDog Behind me is a really cool concept. It's called Box Park. It is made of shipping containers and is essentially pop-up shops. So it's a 
very cool combination of small boutiques, a few larger brands, and then upstairs you have more drinking places and food. From the outside, it doesn't look like this up here would exist, but there are so many different little food courts with like arcade machines, craft beer, and food. seemed like such a cool market. I wish we had more time to spend there. If I lived here, I think I'd be there a lot. Favorite neighborhood so far in London. I like, if I could live here, I would go there. Look, do you guys see that? Look at that car. If I also lived here, I'd drive this thing around. This is awesome. We are currently on our way to another market called Old Spitalfields. We don't know a whole lot about it except one of our favorite brands, All Saints, has it in its name. So All Saints, if you're watching, we love your shops, we love those sewing machines, so hit us up. All things considering, you should watch our last vlog because we were at a market for that. And now we're going to this one because it's really close by. This place is huge, way bigger than I thought it would be. There's every clothing article you could ever want. Restaurants, trinkets, it's, this is only one side of it. There's another side. So on the outside of the market, there's a whole bunch of food trucks and someone's down here eyeing them. You see anything that's uh, catching your eye? Got Amazonian flatbread. Anybody know what that is? I don't know, what does that even mean? <laughs> Beans, yeah. rocket, yeah. and cheese. That's it. You can choose all. So free. So guys, the way this works is you pick one protein and then you can add all the toppings if you want or just a couple as what we did and then they kind of cook it up here in front of you. So this is a new one for us. It's Amazonian flatbread. It's almost like a pita. Wow, like I've never heard of Amazonian food. They were the nicest people. They were super nice, yeah. <laughs> so in this one we got chicken, there's cheese, a uh, rocket, and chilies. Feels hot. <laughs> it looks good. Ooh, I see some cheese. Mm. Supremely delicious. It's like a fancy grilled cheese almost. Nice and crispy on the outside, cheesy gooeyness, a little bit spicy on the inside. Here we go. Oh, oh, is it ever nice and spicy from those chilies? The most interesting thing is this crust. There's like no oil at it. It looked like he basically put flour in a pan and it just kind of formed over about five to ten minutes. This is awesome. This is nice and crispy. Cheese is good. We got tons of chilies. We like our spice and the chicken is tender. You couldn't ask for a better thing. But this is Am Amazonian food. We need to go there. Where is that though? The Amazon? Brazil? Brazil? Brazil, we're coming for you. Well, that was delicious. If that is Amazonian food, we have to find more of it. <laughs> this day was incredible. I wish we had more time just to walk around, but uh, that's all we can do. And if you're new around here, I am Anna, and this is Trevor. You should hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and hit that notification bell if you want to know when we have new videos. Out. And guys, now we're about to leave London because we're going to Italy, specifically Milan. That's where you're going to see us next. All right, guys, that's it. From Shoreditch in London, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon. Oh,